The Austin Fire Department, though, of course, after the rain and flooding, they're warning everybody to stay out of most of our creeks, especially Barton Creek this morning. It is closed because of all the rain, and this is the same creek, as you know, where three people died a few months ago during our last round of flooding. Our Kate Whitehaw has been looking into the factors the city considers when they implement a ban. Good morning. Hey, good morning, David. You know, we're along Waller Creek this morning, and while this creek was not really used for recreation, it is a perfect example, like Barton Creek, of how quickly it can rise, come out of its banks. Yesterday, Waller Creek did cause some minor flooding here in Hyde Park. Down this morning, you can see, though. But for those who were on Barton Creek yesterday, the fire department ended up closing the waterway and the greenbelt in the afternoon. They watched the gauges, and when the water reaches 1,500 cubic feet per second, it gets shut down. Well, yesterday, it reached 3,500 cubic feet per second. And David and I were talking this morning. He said it's only down to 3,100 this morning. It's going to be dangerous throughout the entire day. Very, you need to be very cautious. He says if you're, you know, even attempting to want to be out there, which you're not supposed to, the water is going to be eight to nine feet deep. So we talked to some folks who were hiking the Greenbelt yesterday in the rain. They say the water came up so fast it covered the trail. It wasn't an exit that way, so we had to get wet and we jumped in the water. I carried the dog with me, so. And because Barton Creek flows down into Barton Springs Pool, Barton Springs Pool is closed today. Of course, we'll continue to monitor when the pool, Greenbelt and Creek winds up reopening.